All right, I think we're all ready here. I think I have everything. Uh, sorry about the light in your eyes. I decided since, you know, I see all these people that are wearing shirts and stuff. Oh, cool shirt. So I got to do my represent shirt. If you know what this represent shirt is, then good for you. If you don't, uh, it's barn out. Um, good show. A lot of people. Lots of fun. Anyway, we'll get started here. Uh, let me get my little table set up. Like so. And uh, it was suggested that bourbon would be the way to go so we have this place uh in kansas city it used to be in johnson county kansas um lucas wine and spirits liquor emporium uh, it, it's called store but it's a pretty big place so um i uh i picked up some things there uh, kind of a variety um I suppose the first, we all, I guess I'm going to start with the hard stuff, right? We'll do that first. The captain. We'll do the captain first. Um, you know what? I'll just keep it a surprise. But I do have my glass. I'm going to get more of those uh, granite ice cubes. Those are nice. One other thing about them. Oh, my God. Do you see that shit? Oh, dear. My, gra my glass is broke. Looks like somebody shot it with a BB. I'll bet that's from the granite. Oh, man, I doubt it'll hold water. Shoot. Well, I'll have to get another glass. I think I've got another one upstairs. But for now, I'll just use Snoopy. It'll be fine. Um, maybe I just will put a sip in there. I don't know. But anyway, another thing about the uh, granite ice cubes, they won't water your drink down. They'll keep it cold, but they won't water it down. Because, of course, you know your ice cubes are going to melt and... Next thing you know, you got some watered down stuff going on. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get it in the frame here. Okay. Sherry got me this whiteboard last year, and it's been a lifesaver. You can see all the crap I've got going on in different little areas. But uh, let's see if we can get it in frame there. Stay. All right, we can see that. So here we have uh, the bourbon first, and of course, uh, the oatmeal cream pies, nutter butter, I think that's what they're called, uh, and then zebra cakes. And of course, with the straight up bourbon, they're, everything's, no, absolutely not. Um, and then the mix, we got a five on the oatmeal cream pies, a four on the nutter butter, and a hell no on the zebra cakes. So, Let's see what the captain has in store for us. That's where we're gonna start. We'll pour just a little bit there. Maybe a little bit more. I'm not a rum drinker, but I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I just, I don't know. Everybody's like, oh, rum and coke, and that Bacardi 151 stuff. That'll kill you. Anyway, uh, we're gonna start right with the oatmeal cream pies. Let's give that a shot. Just a little sip. I, mean, I don't want you guys to think I'm some sort of alcoholic because I haven't drinking all day. So I'm actually doing real well. Let's see what happens. I did have some crackers though because I didn't get lunch today. It's spiced rum. That's not bad. That's not bad. Of course, I was supposed to take a bite of the oatmeal cream pie first. I don't know. Not for me. Like I said, I'm not a straight up guy. Maybe I'll make a little mixer. Let's do this first though. One thing at a time. I got this problem that I start doing more than one thing at a time and it throws everything out the window. Um, when Eric and I go camping, we camp and then get hammered. Um, usually the timeline is show up. Of course, there's always one of us that seems to show up earlier than the other. That's the guy that gets to start drinking first, and it's just no fair for the other guy. But whatever. I don't care. Er Eric retired from the military and, and 
is just kind of chilling right now, um, and he always shows up first. Uh, well, I showed up at uh, Teeter Rock a couple of years ago first, uh, but my truck broke down, so you know how that story goes. Um, but uh, we set up the camp, set up the tent, um, throw the trot line out, and then I will go start the fire. For some reason, I'm the fire starter. Um, but I start the fire and we immediately dive in whatever we got to drink. I usually pour myself, a, a the number three and, uh, he'll start slamming down the Mike's hard lemonades. But, uh, Barnout last year, he showed up early, um, pouring down rain and, uh, he kept calling me or texting me. I don't remember which I was on the road. And he's like, man, it's pouring down rain. I think we were talking on the phone. It's just hammering its ass off. But I'm slamming beers. I'm having a great time. I'm thinking, how in the world are you having a great time when you're sitting in the truck watching the rain just pour down? I don't care. I'm not at home. That's all that matters. I'm just, I'm out here. Okay. I'm good with it. So I was fortunate enough to be close to a Walmart. Uh, I don't know if it was Boonville or Blackwater, somewhere in there. Stopped and got like the biggest tarp I could get at the store, 20 by 30 or something, and we set that thing up. I'll, I'll circle back to that. Let's give this a shot, though. That's not too bad. But like I, like I said, it's a straight up, you know, Straight up stuff. And I don't know what this is. Is this 25? 30? It, it, it surely can't be more than 30. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Don't tell anybody. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, I can't read it. I can't read it. It's in gold. I don't know. Almost got to have my phone take a picture. It looks like 35. Hell, I wouldn't know. Anyway, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, I need to wash my palate. Ugh, that peanut butter lingers for sure. Okay, we're ready now. I'm not so sure about this. Maybe the spice will go well. Whatever they use the spice rum. Spiced rum in a broken glass. God, sounds like a sad country song. No, no, that's not bad. Let's do the grating. Let's do the grating. I got, I got a marker here. I think with the, uh, I'll just put spice rum or straight rum. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Uh, oatmeal. That's probably a three. A three. And no. There. How about that? Anyway, I took this tarp last year when we set up down by the pond and uh, tied it up into the trees. I had 200 foot of bungee cord. When I went to Orshelands to buy it five years ago, the lady's like, you know, this is $1.30 a foot, right? Not for the whole roll, because it's like a 200 foot roll, maybe 100 foot, I don't know. I said, yes, I know exactly what I'm buying. Okay, so I bought it and I tried to use it to tie a tarp over the pool. It just didn't work well. The in-ground pool, you got to have the, the right tarp and a bunch of sandbags. Anyway, back to it. This thing is in the trees, right? And anybody that, that went to barn out last year knows that it, it just poured like crazy. And then in the middle of the night, this, I, I don't, don't take my word for it, but I think I saw moonlight. But we're sitting in cots, sleeping, whatever, trying to sleep, and the wind would pick up. And this entire tarp, if you could imagine, 
this being the tent right here, and then the tarp covered the whole tent. We had the fire under the tarp. That's how big this thing is. And, of course, the wind would pick up and this entire tarp would fly up in the air. I mean, it had to have been up 30 feet in the air when the wind picked it up and, and took off with it. But, of course, it settled back down again because the bungee cords stretched like no other. And, and it really worked well. kept us bone dry. But, anyway, back to it. Back to it. What do we got going on? We're going to mix this up. Is that right? All right. Stand by. I hate to keep popping out a screen, but I'm not prepared. Okay, I just looked at the box. The peanut butter are nutter, nutty buddies. Nutty buddies? Nutty buddies. All right, whatever. Had to get a cold one out of the fridge here. Pat, I'm glad you like the Sprite Zero. Uh, that's, yeah, definitely a good choice. It worked out well. Why am I doing this? I apologize again. I didn't get lunch today. Had to work over a little bit. It just... Uh, been kind of a rough day. Now my damn glasses broke. One of those days. Kind of like Saturday. Don't ever put shocks on the back of a Jeep Cherokee. Never. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you need to ask me why, then do that another time. Now it's time to drink. That's all we care about right now. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll just do this. That's all. That's all mixed up well. That's pretty good. How about that? Just so it doesn't leak out of the glass. So we're going to start with a, a mixed spice rum. Oatmeal cream pie. First time I've ever had this with Sprite. I mean, I don't drink rum. So, whatever, right? There's not enough rum in there. I can't taste any alcohol. Damn. Damn. John suggested uh, tea. John Turner. Uh, yeah. I've done tea and bourbon before, and, and I just didn't like it. Not for me. Not for me. Uh, sweet tea, unsweet tea, it just either one of them was a no-go for me. I'm going to taste this first. I can taste a little rum in there. That's not bad. Sure took a lot though. Yeah, 35 proof took a lot. Oh shit. All right. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's breaking my glass. That needs to be in a in a one like that. Shout out. Not too many people have that mug. Anyway, that was pretty good. The, 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 the rum and the Sprite actually are very good. I'm, I may have to add more because I, I'm not getting a good taste on it. Damn it. All right, fine. Golly, how much is this going to take? Pat, are you a rum drinker? Help me out here. Good Lord, look how much is going out of that damn bottle already. Oh boy. Man, <laughs> this is going to be rough. We were in, uh, oh, not Baton Rouge, but uh, New Orleans. <laughs> Heavy homeless gal was over against the corner. She had a bottle of vodka. Of course, it was a pint, not a fifth. And, boy, she just tipping it up. You can see bubbles coming out of that damn thing. And I was like, hey, look at this over here. Check that out. Because, you know, you guys that know me know that I, I'm not the one that's right up, you know, next to the stage. I'm always way in the back, just kind of watching everything happen. I ended up looking across the street and seeing this lady just, you know, smoking a joint, which I've never touched any of that before in my life, but I would imagine that after the third one and <laughs> going on the second bottle, she'd be on the ground. Oh, hell no. No, this other guy, a uh, homeless dude, walks up to her, and they were chatting it up, and I think, I swear to God, 
she had that empty bottle and she was shaking it up. So I think maybe she had a snort left in that empty bottle and she probably roofied him, but she gave that to him and she split. And the next thing you know, he's laying down in the street on around the other side of the corner and his buddy's like kicking the bottle under the dumpster and the cops are there like, we're going to take you to jail if you can't get up. It was a whole deal, man. It, yeah, no, I, I can't handle that kind of liquor. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to have to get another oatmeal cream pie. Dad's been knocking these back. I don't mind, though. Worth every penny. Oh, there's some alcohol. That's not bad. That's a five. Get my water. Uh, that's very good. Okay, let's try some nutter. nutty, nutty buddies. I'll never be able to get that right. It's not bad. It goes well with the spice rum. So we'll do like a, a five and a six, maybe. That sounds okay. I got to keep hitting the water. I ate some crackers, and I don't know what it's done to my taste buds, but it's never a good day when you have crackers for lunch. Kind of shameful. Okay, let's give that a try. That's another hell no. No. The zebra cakes don't go with anything so far. I'm done with the damn zebra cakes. Well, I'm not done. You, I can never be done with zebra cakes. But that's just, uh, I don't know, something about the cake. I'm not a pastry kind of guy. But I do love my zebra cakes. We had two cakes for Sherry this weekend, birthday cakes. I didn't eat a single piece. That's not, not for me. Not for me. But I did watch some some of the free shows uh, on Facebook, the streaming stuff. Um, Ted Nugent was doing some work. Um, I even saw Grace Potter on there, and yeah, I, I'm a big fan of hers. She does. She's just got that powerful voice, and she plays an okay guitar. I'm not going to hold it against her that she plays a flying V. I, I don't know if you've ever put a flying V on your across your belly before, but the, I just don't find them comfortable at all. I don't see how people play them comfortably. I just, the, the natural curves to just a, a regular guitar are, are built, you know, uh, ergonomically so that they can be comfortable when you play them. You can play them for a long time. That damn flying V, the, the flying V, especially if you're sitting down, it comes way up here and it's just, I don't know. Uncomfortable as hell. Okay, well, I'll just leave that for later. Because that's, that's actually pretty good. Pat, you may make a rum drinker out of me. I'm telling you. But the next step, Malibu coconut flavored rum. It's been a long time since I've had this. So, I mean, I don't know if it's going to have too much alcohol taste to it or not. I'm going to have to add more Sprite to it. I, I don't want to because that means i got to go off screen and go get more Sprite, but we'll pour a little in there. If I recall, it just had too much alcohol flavor for straight drinking. It's 21%. It's not bad, really. It's uh, kind of like a wine. We'll put it out there. Bam. Like that. Plastic bottle for you people that like to drink next to the pool. Uh, that's a sipper. That's a sipper. I'll take a little sip. I'm not going to take a snort when I eat my little Debbie's because that wouldn't, I think it'd have too much alcohol. But let's see here. Oh, I got to make my march. Don't let me forget. No, no. There's still too much alcohol in it to, to make the flavor good. Let's make these marks. 
Oh, that sticks with you. I may be drunk by the time this is over. I'm not kidding. Spice rum, and then we did the mixer, right? So we'll put mix. And that was actually pretty good. We had to add a lot of rum to get the mixer flavored up with some alcohol, rum flavor, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to do a five on the oatmeal cream pies, a six on the butter, and then a hell no on the zebra cakes. Oh shit. Sorry. There's no post production in this shit. This is a this is a one time shot. These are one take deals. So I applaud you for being on stage and be able to perform just like that. I mean, I know you guys practice and, and shit like that, but um, there's something to be said about getting up on stage and performing. I mean, I can get up on stage and talk and you know give you some laughter. I told Pat we was going to do the. My Brother Brian Tour. Uh, it's going to be a comedy tour loosely based on my life and having to deal with my brother Brian, who I love dearly, but does take a lot of energy at times. At times. Sometimes he's cool, fine, everything's good, but sometimes it's just uh, it's a lot of work. He's 18 months older than I am, and... Um, he will always know more than me. I, I don't know. He's turned to me a few for a few electronic designs and little stuff, but boy, that yeah, this is why, this is why this happens. <coughs> that is horrible. That tastes like shit. No. Okay, uh, we'll do the last one and then we'll scribble down our negative comments because I won't do that. It's great if you mix it with stuff though. Uh, what is that? Uh, you have you mix pineapple juice and, and the slushy stuff, the pina coladas. Yeah, that's definitely. But you don't want to you don't want to overdo it. Kind of like a margarita. I perfected my margaritas years ago. Um, you know, I think it's a three to one. Uh, for tequila, but you have to use, well, I'm saying you have to use good tequila, but I actually use that uh, uh, El Toro, and if you mix it right, it, it's fine, but whatever, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not going to judge, oh, that's a mixed drink, we don't want to have that yet, okay, we know it's going to taste like ass, but I have to do it anyway, right, it's principle. You follow through. Okay. <coughs> Tastes like shit. <coughs> oh my God. The spice rum was better than that shit. My goodness. What was that? Malibu? Joe Walsh did a song, Malibu. Check it out. You might like it. You might like it. That was back in the 90s or something. Malibu. Hell no. Across the board with an exclamation point. No. And I'm not going to mix the Malibu because it's already 21%. There's, there's no need to mix that. And when you do put it in a damn <sighs> pina colada, you're not putting any alcohol in it. Like I say, 21% alcohol by volume. By the time you put one shot of this into a margar into a pina colada, you've got like 2% alcohol. I bet it would freeze. To be honest with you, I no. And and. I think I just spent $12 on that bottle when I went to the store and bought it. Now, I don't know if all of you have heard of this next selection, but I've heard good things about it. Um, my stepson, Brooks, likes to eat it in Cocoa Puffs. I'm not lying. 
And honest to God, that's that might be on the My Brother Brian tour. I don't know. But here it is. Rum Chata. I'm going to read it here because I, I I don't know. It's Horchata con Ron. Uh, is that uh, uh, Horchata with rum? And Horchata, if you do not know, is uh, a skim milk product with vanilla flavor in it. Um, these larger Mexican restaurants, well, I don't know. Any kind of real Mexican restaurant, anyway. You can order Horchata. And it's not a carbonated beverage. It's just a vanilla flavored skim milk. It's like water. Uh, white, of course, with some vanilla flavor in it. That's all it is. Uh, but people like it. I'm not a milk guy. I'm not a dairy guy. So I'm not a skim milk drinker. I'm not a milk drinker at all. But um, a lot of people really do like this. I don't recall that I've had it ever. Uh, maybe just a little bit here or there. But it's made, it says, uh, uh, Caribbean rum with real dairy creamer, natural and artificial flavors. So there you go, rum chata. It's a big hit. I don't know how much I had to spend on this. It's um, 375 mils. It's a pint, but I had to spend, I think, $9, $10, $10 a pint. So it's not cheap, um, and it's not in the refrigerated section. That blows me away that you can have a dairy product that's not refrigerated. Is that because of the alcohol content? Which I don't even know what it is. 13% alcohol by volume. This is like drinking malt liquor. It's about the same as drinking a Mickey. Mickeys, by the way, are not what they used to be. The Mickeys, are, they're, they're a Miller High Life product. Um, and I swear to you, it tastes like 3-2 two, three, uh, three, two beer. It, it does not taste like the Mickeys of old, but uh, the older Mickeys used to be like, a, it, it was like a malt liquor. Um, I don't drink that shit. <laughs> it is nasty, nasty stuff. I am not a malt liquor fan, but you see how creamy that is? Okay, I'm going to put a little more in there because I've heard it's really good, and it's got less alcohol in it, so surely it'll taste more like a mixer, right? We're going to give it a try. But, yeah, definitely buy some of this stuff if you're a rum drinker. Buy that stuff. Uh, I don't know. John, you uh, you go to the liquor store quite often, or Class 6. If you got an ID, you go to the Tinker. Is that right? Tinker Air Force Base, go to the Class 6. That's what Eric does. That's what I would be doing. I guess I could go to uh, Leavenworth, to the Class 6 over there, but fuck it. I don't need to get that tax-free stuff. Anyway... We're going to give this a shot. Are we ready? Let that settle down. <laughs> That's got a kick. That's definitely got a kick for 13%, but, you know, you can't drink it like a beer. That's not bad. Um, I want to say it's better than, than the mixer I had, but I, I don't know. I'm going to say they're even. Even Steven. I need the Nutty Buddy. I said it right that time. It's a Nutty Buddy. Um, yeah, I saw... Uh, of course, Pat's show last week. Um, the uh, Larkin Poe, the Lovell sisters, they had a show today uh, on the... Uh, oh, gosh. What was his name? I can't remember his name. The blues guy from back in the day. Uh Anyway, um, gosh, what was the guy that played Frankenstein? And, and, and of course, his brother, and this guy had the this, this same name. Uh, doggone it. I can't remember, but you know who I'm talking about. The old black blues guy. Um, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Boom, 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 boom. Well, that was his riff. Uh, anyway, um, they did a couple of his songs and then uh, did one of their own and another cover, but always, always appreciative to have free entertainment. That's my, like my lunchtime treat, you know. Um, I know once a week, at some point, uh, the Lovell sisters are going to do something right around lunchtime, and I'm like, 
thank heavens I get to just take a break out of my day, most times, most times, um, and and just decompress. Um, my job is sometimes stressful, sometimes a, a high priority situation. Um, I used to do a ton of racing, which, uh, boy, I guess I'm going to do another one. Uh, I used to do these videos. It's here somewhere, guys. Um, modify your modified. Just a couple, really, before I got this tech job. Uh, when I used to maintain, I had time on my hands. And then I got into this tech job, and then they're like, oh, we're going to give you 200 miles of territory. And I said, I can't, I can't handle 200 miles of territory. I'm going to exercise seniority. I'm bumping off. That's when I remembered, I realized um, I'm not allowed to bump as a technician. Got to have a change of headquarters. That's the only thing. That or abolishment will allow me a bump. Stand by. I got to step out of screen again. Okay, so for all you modify your modified bands, just a teaser for the video I'm going to put out. I don't want to melt it into this one, but we'll just do a quick teaser. There, quick teaser, quick teaser. Okay, got it? Okay, you'll see that later. I'm going to put out another video. It's going to be different from this one. This is all about you guys, the performers. Uh, doing the stuff that gives us, the fans, a little bit of relief in hard times. But not every day, fortunately, is a hard time for me. Okay, so anyway, back to the spiel. Uh, nutty Buddies. No. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's a no. The oatmeal cream pie was pretty good. I think it was a five. For sure. There's a guy out of California. He used to be from Detroit. Big rotary engine guy. And if you take the blue shop towels and you just kind of wipe your forehead with them and then wad it up and throw it away and then send him the video, I know he'll appreciate it. I know that. Yeah. Anyway, we're on to the zebra cakes. I may not love these when I'm all done with this. I, I don't know. We're going to try it though. This is, this is getting difficult, especially with three types of liquor and still a mixed drink. I got to finish. So. That's actually better than the Nutty Buddy. I'm going to give that a four. Let's update the chart, shall we? What was that? Rum chata? We'll just put RC. Or chata. Is that a D? T. Rum chata. Bam. We're going to give it a four. A no. It was a no on the nutter buddy. And then we got a four. I'm going to give it a four. I mean, it was okay, but hell, it's only 3% alcohol. But it's like drinking a mixer, I guess, by the time. 13% alcohol. But it's like drinking a mixer by the time you just mix it up, you know, with a Sprite or two. Anyway, that's what I got for today. I guess the state of Missouri is open back up again. I think maybe Kansas is too. Um, so, and I'm being told, what'd you say, bud? Uh, January of 2021. And I'm seeing the uh, the Lovell sisters, Lark and Poe, posted uh, 2021 tour. So I don't even know that they're doing anything this year. They postponed their Little Rock show until August, and now everything's, it's like it's been wiped clean. Um, 
but yeah, I, I've seen everybody, I've seen most everybody perform. Um, I haven't done any looking for Ben Miller, but I, I really love the Ben Miller shows. Uh, if you're a performer and you're watching this and you know me, uh, you know that I won't go to your show unless I really, 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 really like your music. Um, but I don't get to go to too many shows, so that's why I kind of say that for the best parts of the year. Um, Sherry and I drove the midget down to the Lark and Poe show. Eric and I went to Barn Out. We were sitting in uh, the Westport Saloon in Kansas City watching Pat and Brian and uh, everybody else do their thing. Uh, Jim, my buddy Jim... He was like, you you have to ask them to play I'll Fly Away. You have to. And I was like, it's going to throw their set list off. You know, I am not that guy. I am the guy, again, I sit in the back and I just watch everything happen. I like to be by the sound board because that's where you're going to get the best audio. As a matter of fact, I'm not bad at running a sound board. I can do that. Um, and, and I like good quality sound. Uh, years ago, I went to an Eagles show at Sprint Center. Started off real good, but about halfway through the show, maybe not even that, maybe we were 35% into the show, they hit, and I was right there. I could I could have smacked the sound guy, you know. I was that close. Uh, on the floor, main floor, like $120 a ticket or something. And that was back in the, I don't know, 99, 2000, 2001? I don't remember. Uh, but... Uh, I was right there, and they had to turn it up, and you could hear it being overdriven a little bit, just to overcome the noise of the crowd, and I don't like that. I like good quality music, um, high high quality shit. Um, I'll, I'll try to go to every Joe Walsh show I can go to. Everyone, of course, he's not touring anymore. He's like 75. He's my dad's age. Uh, but that good, that, that good quality sound is is what I look for and what I wait for. It's hard to find, um, but you know when you got a good show, you got good sound, and you don't have to overdrive everything um, to where your speakers are starting to crackle. I mean, most people can't tell that, but that's why I sit in the back. I, I want to hear that good quality sound. Um, and, and watch the show from afar. Anyway, Jim insisted, insisted, absolutely, everybody at the table absolutely insisted, oh, these are your friends, you know, you, they will do this for you. I, well, yeah, I know they will, but I'm throwing everything off. I did it anyway, but, and I saw that, I saw what was going on uh, with the stage. Regardless of what you guys were doing out on the floor, I saw what was going on on the stage, and I like that. That's a good that's a good trick, a good, good thing to do. And I, I won't let the little secret out if you don't want. But uh, you were doing your thing, right? You had your tablet set up and you guys were doing your thing, trying to throw it together. And of course, you know, you guys are, this is what you do. So you do, I, I, I had 100% confidence in you that it wouldn't throw anything off. And it didn't. It actually was the best performance of the entire show. And take that from the guy that's sitting in the back watching everything go down while Samantha Fish comes tootling in the bar. And I was like, hey, <laughs> I know you. And she's like, oh, yeah, who am I? And I was like, well, you're Samantha Fish. And she's like, yes, I am. I didn't get to show her the picture, but Lisa Streeter, my dear, dear cousin, um, was, was right there uh, in Sacramento last summer and got a picture with Samantha Fish. She's like, holy shit, that's Samantha Fish. Can I get your picture? You know, the only thing I got to say is, uh, number one, Lisa, you're, you know, you're the shit when it comes to photography. Number two, it's not fair because Samantha was smiling more in your picture than she was mine. Not fair at all. But, uh, I just got to give a shout out to Lisa. She's the very best. Um, she's with Life Touch. She goes to the churches and takes all the family pictures Number one, um, I can't even count how many years. There was one year when they said, we, gotta, we can't keep giving you the top award in the nation. 
because it's not fair to everybody else. We got to give it to somebody else. The runner up got it. And, and you know, rightly so, you were pissed about it. I don't I don't blame you. Bullshit. But yeah, definitely props to you. You are the very best. Nationally recognized, nationally honored. Um just blows everybody else out of the water. So, you know, props to you. And for everybody else, uh, I hope things go back to normal. Keep me posted. You know, I'll be watching for a couple good shows. A couple, not too many. I just don't have that kind of time. And, uh, well, hopefully you can, if, if folks so desire, go to the races, go to the track, watch the entertainment. I always try to put on a good show when I'm out there, but uh, it's hard to do when people keep tearing your shit up. Anyway, just... Uh, Keep your eyes open for what's going around on around you, and uh, don't don't party in groups. Not yet. Take it easy. Have a great week.